Hey, hello and welcome to this year's introduction video of Applied IoT uh, 2022. So this is the third year that we are doing this course at Linnaeus University. And uh, this video is uh, sort of a primer for you getting started before, because the course starts uh, the 6th of June. Uh, and uh, we end it at the 10th of July. And this is not an ordinary course, not an ordinary university course. We are doing things a little bit unconventional in this course. So this means that we contact you early on with this video and uh, you're supposed to prepare and buy hardware before the course starts. So when the course starts, you should be ready to start right away. And I just want to say that I'm very glad that you have applied. Uh, and I know that there are many of you watching this video now. So, uh, but I will have the opportunity to meet all of you during the course. And it will not only be me, of course. Uh, this kind of course is made up of an involvement of many, many people. And this year we have uh, no less than 10 TAs, that is teaching assistants, from all over Sweden and also from Europe. Uh, they will do the majority of the workshops. They will actually be the ones that you meet most of the time. We will also be a couple of lecturers and this year we have lecturers from Sweden and that is me from Kalmar, Linnaeus University. We also have teachers from Italy, in Trieste, Spain, Valencia and Germany, Bremen. You will also see that there, you, you can also expect that there will be a lot of exciting guest speakers this year as well and we'll announce them later on but as I said this course is much uh, about doing things in a new and novel way and trying to have as much fun and learn while you do it a little bit about background information of this course we started this course three years ago just during the covid pandemic and then we started this as a distance course, but we initially had planned it as a campus course. So we got about 1000 applicants each year. And this year is no exception. We actually have about 1000 applicants for this year's course. And this ends up in about 200 active students and 200 student projects that has been done each year, which is actually really, really cool. Um, the course in general is about you learning to do your IoT project from idea to implementation and we'll help you with that. More details will be added later on with the details on examination and everything. So don't worry, everything will be handled on later on. But now to hardware. What we are going to work with in this course is actually uh, microcontrollers and a microcontroller is a small computer they can be in many forms and formats so but what we have chosen as the recommended route for this course is the PICOM device and this is a quite uh, good microcontroller in terms of flexibility it's a good development board for being able to choose a lot of different options later on this particular board here is called the FiPi. It has the ability to use uh, cellular networks with a SIM card. It also has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LoRa, Sigfox, uh, and also the LTE CAT M1 NB1. This is the most expensive choice you can make, but if you want to have all possibilities, then you should go for this one. If you buy the PICOM device, you will need a, uh, an expansion board. And this board is something that you use when you connect your PICOM device, so you can program your microcontroller. And 
obviously we're going to connect this microcontroller to, to sensors. And what you see here is a breadboard. So the white thing here is a breadboard. And now I've just put a lot of sensor on, uh, on here just to illustrate uh, what we can work with. This is a quite common sensor, very, very cheap. It's a DHT11 sensor. It measures temperature and humidity. And we have a couple of these sensors that measure air quality, carbon dioxide, air pressure, light intensity, and so on. And these kind of sensors, there's a wide range of sensors. So what we are going to recommend is that you can either start by buying a pack of different sensors. They are sold in bulk in like 25 of these. We'll give you the links to, that, to, to what we recommend. And you will also need a breadboard and you will need some wires. These are often included in the basic start kits. Uh, so we'll help you with all the links. But this is a pretty common startup when you start working with IoT. There are options though, and I'm just going to mention them, as there is this uh, global situation of both uh, a pandemic and there is a war going on. So there is perhaps uh, that uh, there might be problems with distribution, I'm just saying it. Uh, so. We are going to give a lot of options for you this year, so you can also choose different boards. The common denominator of everything that we're going to recommend is that they are, uh, are supposed to be programmed by MicroPython. And why MicroPython? That is because it's an easy language to learn if you haven't programmed before. And just to say it again is that this is an introductory course so we don't really uh, it's not a prerequisite that you uh, need to be a programmer before you start this course but there are options uh, i can recommend this the health tech board um, they are based on the same cpu uh, architecture as the pycom device and that is an esp32 by espressif um, what I want to say is that you should go with something that can handle LoRa as well, as that is something that is pretty um, popular now, a communication option in, in IoT. There are also some interesting sensors that you can buy off the shelf uh, that uses Bluetooth as beacons. And those are not, nothing, often something that you can't program yourself, but you can use them as a sensor directly to the device. So as you see here, there is a lot of different options uh, for you. Um, and I'm going to show you some notes here. So I've managed to say about number of applic applicants, projects, and the dates. Um, the most important part I would say for you at this moment uh, would actually be that you should join the Discord server. And you should do that right away after you see this video, even before you have registered as uh, in the learning platform and everything. We will use Discord as the main tool of communication for this course. And the Discord link you will find linked in this video and also in the email that uh, you are receiving this video in. Um, and as soon as we have some recommendations for hardware suppliers, we will distribute them accordingly in the Discord server. And you will also in a very, very near future, see an updated bill of material and list. But I what I would like to say to you now is think about what you want to do. And that is, do you, are you interested in, in beekeeping or gardening? Maybe you want to do an IoT project in something that measures or controls that kind of stuff. Are you interested in, in traffic and congestion, maybe that is your area, uh, or whatever you like. Try to be creative. 
the more creative we can be and the wider variety of different projects that we can see, the more fun it is. So with those words, I welcome you to the course and um, also a view of the Royal Garden in the Cop library of, of uh, Copenhagen uh, that we're in at the moment. See you.